everyone. Today we're going to talk about tracking domains and how to add one to red track. To do that, we will use our KB article. Here it is. A web hosting service GoDaddy, where we will create a CNAME record for our domain. That's the one. And uh, red track itself, our ad tracker, where we will add a custom tracking domain. Okay, our presentation will consist of the following parts. First one, I will cover the definition and the importance of using a custom tracking domain in your ad campaigns. Then we will move on to the mechanism of getting a custom tracking domain. After that, we'll dwell on how to add a CNAME record to your domain and demonstrate on the example of GoDaddy web host how to add a CNAME record there. And finally, I'll show you how to add a custom tracking domain to RedTrack. Let's go. First things first, um, what is custom tracking domain? Custom tracking domain is something different from your regular domain website. It's used for technical tracking purposes only. Probably the main reason for using a custom tracking domain instead of a standard dedicated tracking domain provided by the tracking tool is that it's more secure as such giants as Facebook, Google, or Bing do not accept free tracking domains, so your campaigns may be blocked. And of course, custom tracking domain is something that belongs to you only, as opposed to the dedicated red track domain attributed to you by default. Let me demonstrate to you how the default red track dedicated domain looks like and where you can find it. To find one, go to red track, tools, domains, press new, and here it is. This is your dedicated uh, tracking domain granted to you by default uh, by your ad tracker. In our case, that's RedTrack. If you Google it, there are different web hosts which can be used for purchasing and adjusting domains. Here is an example of such I've prepared for you. Yeah, best, best web hosting of 2022. And by scrolling down here, you can see that there are like top 10 web hosting services. Choose the one uh, you need. Manipulations with DNS records I'm going to show you are in GoDaddy, are happening in GoDaddy, where I've got an account and already purchased domain. As before customizing it, you will have to purchase it first. Uh, but you're more than welcome to use any web hosting services you wish. Okay. So uh, before we actually uh, add our CNAME record, let's dwell a little bit on what CNAME record actually is. We all know how a third level domain looks like. Let's put it here, wexample.com. So this is our third level domain. Uh, by the way, third level domains can also be called subdomains. So here's uh, an example of third level domain. Here it is. Uh, such domains work fine for simple tracking and are easy to integrate. The integration is performed via creating a CNAME record. CNAME record is the record responsible for adjustment of the subdomains. In our case, it's this one to canonical name of the domain. So if this is like the whole name, this is our root domain or any other domains. Thus, with the help of CNAME adjustment, when accessing www.example.com, you are referred to the root domain, example.com. So a CNAME record is created on your domain registrar site. To add CNAME record, you go to your domains. Again, we are going through the steps on web host GoDaddy. Of course, some steps for any other web host will differ, but the structure is pretty much the same. So you go to manage DNS. Great. Uh, and press to add. Here you will have to add type name where the and TTL. Let's dwell on each of the fields. 
Uh, the type you're going to choose will be C name. You don't need to add any other records, just C name will be fine for creating custom tracking domain. Uh, the name. Uh, in our case, well, basically name uh, could be whatever you decide to put here. I'll put my own name, not to confuse it with anything. Sorry, put like this. Uh, the field uh, where the uh, it is your here in this field you will have to uh, type in your dedicated tracking domain from red track and we've already established that in my case it looks like this put it here and the field TTL uh, this is the field for estimated um, so to say data replication. So you choose the lowest option possible here. Let's choose one, two hours. Okay, this is it. Now we press add record. Great, success here. And uh, your CNAME record has been added and the domain will be um, ready to use once the data replication is completed. It can take up to 24 hours for some registers, but in general, it takes about an hour. Now we will proceed with adding the domain to RedTrack. To do that, we go to RedTrack, press Tools, choose the option Domains, Press new and here are the fields we will have to fill in. First of the field URL. Here you should type in the CNAME you've just created. In our case, in my case, it's like this. Uh, next field is root domain URL. So uh, this is where you will be redirected when accessing custom tracking domain directly. So you may as well leave it blank. And uh, RedTrack provides the SSL certificates for all paid clients where everything now can be done in one click. To activate this feature, turn the free SSL certificate toggle on and save the changes. Here it is. So press save. And here's our custom tracking domain. That's it, guys. The tracking domain will be used in the code that we will add to your website in the universal tracking script. So instead of uh, your so-called domain.rdtk.io, you will have something like this, something customized, something which belongs to you only. The article on Red Track KB will be added to this video description. Stay tuned for more Red Track tutorials. See you!